So recently, Maddie and I were rewatching one of our favorite anime, My Hero Academia, a story about a boy discovering his new superpowers. Naturally, we ended up pondering one of life's deepest questions. Dude, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Hmm. Hmm. It's sometimes fun to dream about outrageous powers, but human beings may never evolve to develop the ability to breathe fire or shoot laser beams from their belly buttons. Besides, what good are those powers anyway? But what if I had the power to be more productive or to efficiently do the things that I really enjoyed? Well, maybe it's the little things that actually matter. Developing a common, everyday skill to such mastery that it actually becomes a superpower in our modern world. The thing is, anime heroes never start off overpowered. That usually happens around season 4. But the common theme, as is true in our everyday lives, is that with practice, everyone is able to train their superpowers to increase productivity. So these are the 5 anime superpowers we came up with that will make you more productive. First is being indistractable. Kind of like being indestructible. Being indistractable makes you immune to distractions, allowing you to focus more on the task at hand. In our digital world, distractions come from all angles. Alarms, notifications, messages, and the ability to connect with any human around the planet in your fingertips. Most of these external distractions can be overcome with environmental design. Putting your devices away, using Pomodoro, or do not disturb signs. But perhaps the most deadly distraction of them all comes from within. It's your own emotions that can derail you from work. If your goal today is to study, but every time you sit down with your books, you either feel bored or tired or anxious, these emotions will distract you. So how do we train our superpower of indistractability? How do we train ourselves to eliminate distractions and stay focused on our responsibilities? Well, if you think about it, the root of the word responsibilities is response. And the key is to train our body on its response to distractions. For example, when I can't focus on studying without wanting to pull my hair out and scream at Gary, I have to stop myself and ask, what emotion am I feeling? Am I bored? Am I anxious? Am I lonely? Then I have to dig deeper and ask why I feel these emotions. Well, it could be because I don't understand the subject well enough to appreciate it, or maybe I just don't like the subject at all. Or maybe Mr. J is just the absolute worst. But whatever the reason is, if I can recognize that these distractions are coming from within, then I can think about the situation rationally and exert control over my emotions. The second superpower is genius level learning. Learning how to learn is such an underrated superpower, but it compounds interest. There used to be a time when your intelligence was measured by the amount of knowledge you had. But now, with the internet, I can find the answer to any question with the click of a button. Today, being able to remember a lot of information isn't as valuable as being able to learn how to use that information, to apply it and solve problems. How to train your learning. It's helpful to understand how the brain remembers information and the process of how memory decays until it's forgotten. All these concepts tie into the powerful technique called spaced repetition, spacing out your learning at strategic intervals to maximize retention. Another must-know concept is the idea of desired difficulties. The more effortful your learning, the better it sticks. I achieve desired difficulties on the regular, when I rampage through Remno flashcards during my morning dump. We have a whole video series on how to use cognitive and neuroscience to boost your learning, which I'll link up here. You'll find over 20 videos of actionable tips, so check it out. The third superpower is having a mind like water. This means being able to effortlessly offload thoughts from your mind so that you have a clear headspace to focus on the task at hand. Imagine that it's test day and you're trying to focus on taking your exam, but in the back of your mind, you keep worrying about all these different thoughts like having to buy a present for your mom's upcoming birthday, or how your brother ate the last ramen and you have to drop by the grocery store to restock. Well, that's some serious cognitive burden you got. And I can relate to this. The worst is when I can't sleep and I lie awake all night with tons of open loops and unanswered questions. They say that the brain is for having ideas, not for storing them. So a mind like water stays in flow and you don't want to allow any intrusive thoughts to clog it up. So here are some ways that I've trained my mind. 
I no longer ever assume that I'll remember something for later. That's one of the biggest lies that we tell ourselves. Whenever I have a reminder, I write it down immediately. Whenever I acquire a task or a new responsibility, I write it down onto a to-do list or I put it in my inbox and I'll offload it immediately so that my mind is ready for clear thinking. The fourth superpower is super speed reading or super speed listening. It's no question that the most productive and creative people do a lot of reading. Being able to consume large quantities of information quickly gives you a twofold advantage. You're able to acquire knowledge faster than others and in less time. And just like speed reading, speed listening is also a useful superpower when your eyes are occupied. Like when you're driving, exercising, or when Mike forces you to watch a movie you don't really care about. How to train your speed. To get started with speed reading, I began to practice my eye movements. The idea is to always be moving forward and down the page. I also find it helpful to use my fingers to help my eyes track and stay on target. Another technique is to try and silence the reading voice inside your head. You don't need to say out every word in your mind. When it comes to speed listening, I started by listening to all my podcasts and audiobooks on 2x speed. The key was to focus on comprehension. Once I got more comfortable, I would slowly crank up the speed to 3x or higher if that option was available. The fifth superpower is having lightning fast fingers. Being able to shoot lightning from your fingers is cool and all, but having lightning fast fingers for typing can make you insanely productive. We all work with a keyboard or a keypad in some capacity, and being able to consume that info quickly is just as important as being able to output info quickly. So training your fingers is like training a muscle or muscle memory, rather. You can find free speed typing sites like Nitro Type or 10 Fast Fingers to practice your skills. I also use typing hacks like keyboard shortcuts or auto text for long words or phrases that I find myself typing frequently. The keyboard isn't just limited to the computer. We all have keyboards on our mobile devices. Learning how to text with one hand using one touch text can come in handy when your other hand is occupied. Some of us can even do it without looking. So these are five common everyday skills, but if you take the time to master them, they become superpowers to increase your productivity no matter what you're trying to do. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your anime lover friends. It helps out tremendously. And definitely check out our other favorites over here. We'll see you next time.